Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will cover some big updates that happened inside of Goodlock to some of these modules, especially if you have Samsung One UI 8. So with some of these latest updates, it is bringing some brand new features and it's also bringing back some of my favorite features. Now, before I updated some of these modules, I took a screenshot of what was able to be updated, which was Navstar, HomeUp, QuickStar, but then today I found another one where I had to do a manual download of the APK, which I will give you that link below the video inside the description, and that's an update for Lockstar. So Lockstar is giving you some new features, especially when it comes down to your fingerprint reader. Right there, it's going to give you some new additional animations. Now, the one we will not cover today is HomeUp, because HomeUp still does not work with Samsung One UI 8. So in today's video, we will first cover Lockstar, then we will cover Quickstar, and then we will cover Navstar. So first up, when it comes down over into Lockstar, so what I did was I found out that there was an update to Lockstar, and before I did the update, I took a look at the very top to take a look at my latest version, and it was 700014. Now there is a newer version that ends with 15. That 15 is the update that gives you these newest brand new features. So where you're able to download this APK is I have it right here. It's just a website, it's apkmirror.com, and I found the latest version of Lockstar, which is 70015. So if you click on the link below, you might see this little pop-up right here asking you to download the latest version of Lockstar. Now, if you don't see it and it just takes you to this website, all you do is you scroll down and what you will find is this right here. It's the 70015. You might see a little pop-up just to get out of it. And then as you scroll down, you're going to find this button here, which is called a download APK. Now, just make sure you don't click on anything else. The only thing you should be clicking on for downloading is this one here that is called a download APK and it's 74 megabytes. So now what that means is that if you go inside your Samsung folder, you go inside of good lock. This is where you tap on that I for the lock star on the top right hand side for those three dots. You can take a look at the about and there you are the latest version of lock star, which is 70015 giving you the latest features. So now when you go inside of good lock, this is where you're able to take a look at the brand new feature and it is right there. It's an animation right around your fingerprint reader. Now in the version before this, which was 70014, you had all of this stuff on the screen. You just didn't have that right there, the fingerprint reader. And so this is where you can change your animation. So if you have this one right here, it's very minimalistic. You also have a ghost that is popping out. This one right over here, this is gonna be like a bigger wave. This is the one that I used for the video. And this one is kind of like fireworks, kind of going off in a circle. And then you also have another one that's kind of minimalistic, but just a little bit more. So it's a little bit more than this first one here. So this is giving you like a little ripple effect. This is giving you a bigger one. Uh, again, here's your uh, fireworks. This is the one that I use and I'll probably keep it on. And then you also have your little uh, ghosts that are popping out. But here's the thing. If you went through your settings and you turned off animations for your fingerprint, you will have to go through and turn them back on. So I was somebody who had it turned off. So when I first set it up and I went like this and I wanted to see my animation, it did not pop up. Now, if you're somebody who turned off your fingerprint animations like I did through the settings, this is where you turn it back on. So you go right inside of your settings, then you're going to scroll down and you can either go in your lock screen and always on display or security and privacy. Both places will take you to your screen lock and biometrics. So you can go with either one of these ones. Here's your pin face and fingerprint down there. You got to type in your pin. Now, once you've done that, you just go right there to your fingerprints. So this is the settings toggle that you want to make sure that is turned on because before this, I had it turned off. I didn't need the animation, but now because I wanted to see this newest animation, you turn this on. So then this way, if you got the latest update for, for Lockstar and you wanted to have the latest animations for your fingerprint unlock, that is how you're able to make it show back up again. And now on to my favorite module of Goodlock, which is QuickStar. So QuickStar allows you to customize your date and your time so you can see everything right there uh, on your notifications panel, top left hand side. So this way you wouldn't have to pull it down once just to see what the time and the date is. It just shows it right up there. And also it allows you to show all of your quick settings right there. This is one of those things that I was missing for quite some time now on Samsung One UI 8. So we'll go inside the Samsung folder, go inside of Goodlock. 
scrolling on down, this is where we go inside of QuickStar. So again, this one is now finally working on Samsung One UI 8, which is what I have here in my Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now right here is where you have your clock settings. If I go right up over here on the top right hand side, this is where you can toggle this on and you can toggle it off. Now this is what my phone was looking like for a, quite some time. Ever since I've had Samsung One UI 8, uh, this just did not work. Now, I love seeing the date and the time right on back. When you go through here, this is where you can customize how you want it to look. So if you just want it to be like the 726 or July 26th. So for me, I'd rather just see everything. Uh, and then also you can show seconds. It'll show the seconds when you pull it down and it's going to show it right there. So if you need to have the option to look at set it or the seconds for some reason, then at least you can have that one turned on. And then down over here is where you can change your quick settings button grid. So stock out of the box, I believe it was like a four by three. So I'm not a big fan of this. So it goes four by three. Uh, there's a lot of wasted space that is happening there. You would have to pull it down just to see everything. Uh, but what you can do is when you turn this one on, uh, and again, Samsung almost has it set to like right around here. If you make it narrow, then what's gonna happen is that there's not a lot of space in between. And so it's just gonna put everything and jam pack it there. So if you know what all of these icons are, you're able to view all of them just by pulling it down once. Now, if you need to know the names of them, just pull down again and you have them all just right there and they're not like a whole list that you have to go through your whole vertical portion of your screen just to find a quick setting. So again, this is a big one right here, which is changing your button grid. And then over here, this is where you can change that separated panel ratio. So you can see on the top of my phone, if I go on the left-hand side of my phone, that's gonna pull down my notifications. If I pull down on the right-hand side, that's gonna be my quick settings. So depending how and where you want to pull this thing on down, you're able to set it up. So I kind of put mine like right around here, and that is how I'm able to just, if even if I still swipe down from there with my thumb, then I'm still inside of my notifications, and then right over here is gonna be the uh, quick settings. And now over to Navstar. So there is a few things that I have done here. So that transparent hint, I did want to turn on that. So I wanted the hints to be transparent. Down over here, I changed my arrows and my background. So you can see that I changed my arrow color just by tapping there to red and my background is blue. So you can have it just being normal if you want to, which I believe is just like, I think like a gray arrow, I believe. But I've had this one set up like this for a while that I just thought it was kind of fun and I wanted to just customize the colors. Also, you have your uh, left back gesture. You know, how sensitive do you want it to be? Same thing on your right hand side. So you're able to move all of that stuff. And then down here, this is where you can change your gesture handle. So this is what it looks like stock out of box. You have a long bar on the bottom. And if you would like to make it smaller and a little bit more transparent, this is how you get it done. So this is kind of where they were beforehand. It was quite a bit, you know, wide. So I brought my handle to be narrow. And then here you can see if you want it to be you know, more opaque or if you want it to be transparent. So this is where I made these changes. So this is everything I did with Navstar. It's a pretty quick one. I mean, there is buttons that you can make, but since again, I am gestures, I just brought all of my gesture handle all the way down, made it as small as possible. Then also too, when it comes down over into my arrow, I did add in a color and background. And then I made sure that the navigation hint was as transparent as possible right up over there on the top right hand side. So that is everything that I wanted to cover in today's video, which is Navstar, Quickstar, and Lockstar. Now, Quickstar is my favorite module in here where you're able to change and set up, you know, your time and your date, as well as your quick settings right up over here. Lockstar was the one that we were able to update the latest version through an APK that was downloaded to where you'd be able to have, you know, some different, um, you know, fingerprint reading animations and then Navstar. So then you can change a few things when it comes down to making everything transparent and small. And you can also change your arrow color as well as the background. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,